Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Kevin with survivalistboards.com and I have bought myself a couple of new toys. One is this, I hope I pronounced that right, Neck Tech, Neek Tech, whatever. It's a 20 watt solar panel. A oh, buster, you better leave that chick alone. Anyway, 20 watt solar panel, but it only does like five per USB port right there. You plug two USB cables into it and also bought a little voltmeter, amp meter, because I want to know exactly how much, instead of just guesstimating, I wanted to know exactly how much the solar panel is putting out. So I estimate how much, how long it's going to take to charge certain devices. Had also out here, and this is one of my, I've had this battery pack now for several, several years. So I was out here playing with it, had it plugged in and had bought this little USB charger and not paid for all this on none none of this was sent to me for any type of trial or anything or test out I, I bought all of this myself and I, anyway I started charging some double-a batteries with this had it plugged into the power pack on the two amp side and it just taken just a very very long time to charge and it's like four hours later I went back to it, it's like what is going on because the battery pack showed I mean it's fully charged See here? it's fully charged Anyway, I got back on the Amazon page, and the thing takes like four to five hours to charge four AA batteries. I was like, really? I'm going to keep it. I'm just not very happy with it. I mean, that's it. I'm going to keep it, but probably send, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, but I'm going to order another one. I don't think this one here is going to be very good for what I want to do. Order another one. Got myself a Cato Voyager AM FM shortwave radio with radio with a weather band. And instead of using just the little solar pa solar panel here to charge it, that it's got a USB input here, right there, and charge it from USB. So what did I do? Well, this solar big solar panel, 20 watt solar panel, just replacing this one, or instead of it taking, I don't know how long to charge with this little thing. So just phase that right out, not have to worry about that solar panel. And then stuff like the Thorfire Camping Lantern, rechargeable USB, plug it right in, recharge that. And then I've got the little Iron Snow, little, bought this uh, several months ago, haven't done anything with it, ha haven't done any videos or anything with it, I bought it as like a little camping backpacking radio, just something to be able to stay in touch whenever I don't have cell phone reception. Also, charged both my A-Tactical flashlights, took the battery out. In case y'all have not seen the reviews of that, these batteries have a built-in USB charger. And so I took both these batteries out, charged both of them. They were kind of already slightly charged, though. I've been wanting to get into solar power now for a long time. I've been a little intimidated. Uh, let's just be honest. I've been a little intimidated. Is that what exactly did I want to do with the solar, pa with the solar power? Uh, I don't have the money or the time or the resources to invest into putting my house completely solar. I mean, or uh, the chicken house. I, I really didn't want to spend a couple of hundred dollars putting power into the chicken house with solar. So what? I, I stepped back and I looked and I said, what is it that I really want to do with solar power? And I came up with that I really want to keep my battery, my radios charged, and I want to keep my lights charged. I mean, that is what I really want to do with the solar power. So whenever, what is the main thing? Whenever the power goes out, what is the main thing that you want? Well, your food, keep your food cold. You've got a generator for that, which is a short-term solution. And then you want lights at night. Put one of these in the bathroom. Be, be able to go to the bathroom. Not without tripping over everything or stumbling around the house. And you want to be able to stay up on local news. And so that's what I was focusing on. So I decided that I'm going to get a start out with this 20 watt solar panel and that something like 10 watts per USB outlet. According to the meter, the, the top output that I had today was 0.9 amps. And it puts out 5 volts for USB devices, but 0.9 amps. But it says that it can only put out what your device could take in. So I played around with the diff with different things like um, going straight into the battery charger. 
this one here is 0.5 volts I mean 0.5 amps went into here and then plugged the battery charger into here and also plugged my cell phone in here and then that's whenever I got the whole 0.9 amps so what I'm going to be doing over the next few days is playing around with the solar panel played around with it with the radio last night I've had one of these a while back and I lost it and I bought another one just to have it. This one is the um, like a four or five ways to charge it. And I'm going to be buying another nice radio, like a C crane or something like that. This radio has a, uh, got the LED lights back here on the back, straight out of the box. The lights ran for about 12 hours. As I turned, put it on the stove, put it on the and turn these lights right here on. Like, let's say you're in a board game. You're, you're playing a board game. You got that powers off. You got you some type of board game out there. And how long would you be able to play the board game with the light on the radio running? And so that's what I was doing last night. Is I just put it up on the stove and just let it run. Put it, turned it on at eight o'clock. At eight o'clock this that last night, got whenever I got up at eight o'clock this morning, it was still on. I mean, you could barely see, but it was still on. To simulate a power outage is that I came out here, put the solar panel up, plugged the USB cable into the back of the radio, and let it charge. Put the voltage meter on it, and the volt it was not drawing anything, so I figured that it was fully charged. After several hours, I checked it with the voltmeter, because this measures the amount of voltage and amperage going through it. Not how much it's supplying, but how much it's like flowing through it. And this was not drawing anything. And so I figured it's fully charged. I'm going to put it back in there. So that's some of the stuff that I'm playing around. That's some of the stuff that I'm playing around with. Just get an idea of what I could do. I'm also going to be ordering a couple of other battery packs. And I'll probably order another solar panel. Hurricane season is coming up here pretty soon. And I'd like to have a solar panel just for the battery packs to hook up, say, one one solar panel, just for the battery packs. Get a couple of get a couple of these battery packs, put them out there in the morning. Let them charge all day. The other solar panel use that to do like the radio and the phone or the phones and little lights like this, and then go from there. All right, guys and gals, give me some feedback. Let me know what y'all think about starting in this direction. Y'all like the idea? I know it's something I should have done a long time ago. I've just been putting it off and putting it off. Anyway, guys and gals, I'll talk to y'all later.